Hi friends and welcome to my channel. Today I have another decoupage project. I had this, I believe it is a vermouth bottle in my stash and I started by painting it with two nice thick coats of white acrylic paint. Once I had achieved nice coverage with paint, I had to choose one of these beautiful pictures of uh, Stamperia rice paper that I had re recently purchased. Once I decided on my picture, I cut it out and attached it with some decoupage glue. I like to smooth my picture down with a little wad of saran wrap. And once I had my picture in place, I put a nice coat of the decoupage glue over the surface of the image. Now because of the shape of this bottle and the appearance of this picture, I got a really vintage vibe from the two together. So oddly enough, I repainted my bottle green, but a very different green. I mixed together a dark green and a brown, and I got a nice green that wasn't too bright it wasn't too dark I just thought it looked very nice with the green from the picture and I went with that I used a little brush to get in close around my picture
and then I reached for a sponge to cover the rest of my bottle. Once my green paint had dried, because I was having a very vintage vibe from this bottle and this picture, I decided to reach for some gold paint um, to highlight some of the print on this bottle. It had some writing on it and I thought it looked nice. And I basically just, all I did was dry brush it with a small chip brush. And I would take a little bit of that gold paint, uh, wipe most of it off, and just using sweeping motions went all over the bottle just to highlight those raised areas. Then I came back in with the green again to take down some of that gold. I didn't really want it on top of the paint, I just kind of wanted to blend it into my green a little bit better. At this stage, I decided it needed some darker paint on it, so I just went with a really deep brown and I did the same thing. I just used a touch of very dark brown paint on my chip brush, a very dry brush, brushed a lot of that paint off, just dabbed it off, and then just went over 
the corners of the bottle and a little bit heavier on the bottom of the bottle and around the ridges on the top um, just to give it a little more depth and a little more of an aged look. So as it usually goes with crafting, um, you change your mind along the way, at least I do. So I kept my paint out after the brown had dried and I went back and forth between all three colors and just kept going until I got the finish that I liked. And here I am happy with this paint but as you can see the edges or the borders of my picture look a little muddy so I wanted to dive into some of these liquid pearls and see what I could do with those so around the inner ring the first ring around that picture I used really tiny little pearl drops and went all the way around the picture just wanted to give it a little bit of highlight I just think that looks so pretty. So to clean up the outer outer borders I used little swiping motions and I didn't keep it perfect to try to mask the green that had um, invaded the edges of the picture. I um, finished it with uh, just a polycrylic two coats to seal it and it was finished. And here's my bottle. I think I might be keeping this one. I really like the way this one turned out. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.